Hey guys, my name is Seniak and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Well, last episode, guys, we, we got the hippopotamuses in, which is going great. <laughs> I tried to originally get them in here. It didn't work, but it's okay. We got some food placed in and all of a sudden, the zoo is now making bank. I mean, serious bank. We have 32,000 in. Not going to say that some of it is due to the fact that we got a loan, but we've got tons of cash money moved out that we can use and spend. Um, since last episode, I've kind of... Well, something's been brought to my attention. And the fact that is, I thought these exhibits were nice and big oh you also got the wolves in too don't forget the wolves oh animal animal in injured holy moly what do you mean wait pause wait guys pause who is injured uh incorrect uh, sex ratio ostriches um who's injured how do i fight um animals will fight just overcrowded is it the, is it the grizzly bears animals Oh, Winter and Liam. No. Um, right. Okay. We're going to sort this out, guys. So, yeah. What is pause? What I was originally saying is I thought these exhibits were large until we build the hippo one. And now when I look at the hippo one, I feel like that's a good size. <laughs> so these are going to have to change over time. Oh, my goodness me, guys. I'm just changing things already. I'm changing things already. Um, right. So it's overcrowded, apparently. Which makes me want to kind of change things up slightly. And by change things up slightly, I want to kind of, you know, sort these slightly out. So I'm thinking, this is my, think, my thought process, which is actually a kind of a good idea that these guys are fighting. Is that, see these two enclosures here? I kind of merge them into this one. And this solely becomes the grizzly bear one. You see where I'm going with this? You see, it's a big task at hand. But I'm sure we can do it, guys. I'm sure we can actually do it. Now, I do have the wolves in here, which this is not the perfect thing for them. I know that. So I'm going to have to take it on the chin as we try and slowly get together working uh, this zoo. Now, we do have this um, transform over here, which brings the kind of power. Which I'm going to have to kind of try and do something that's going to alleviate some of the pains, the pressures of this area. Now, what I'm thinking of doing is, how do I relocate it? Is it just literally move it like that? You can't even see what's going down right now. But if I do it like this, rotate, which is not that button, it's this button. I'm still trying to get used to that button. Um, right, if I just place it there for a second and... Yeah, it still gives us the power, so that's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of wall off or fence off all this whole area here. And I think I'm going to move in there the ostriches. Then we'll move and create a new one for our little warthogs. Our beautiful little common warthogs. And I think we should be good. It's going to be a big moving pro process. But together we're going to make this so much beautiful. So, barriers. Now, it gives me a good chance to not use these wooden log ones. Uh, I mean, what do I go for at that point? Opaque, climbable, not watertight. Um, these, what are these perimeter ones? What are these like? Do these work? Should we find out? Let me go this way instead. No? What am I, hang on. Define a perimeter of a habitat where barrier isn't needed. No, okay, no, no, no. I don't want that. Um, undo. <laughs> uh, glass. Now, a red brick wall. That could actually be quite nice, couldn't it? Let's kind of see how this will play out, a brick wall. Also, let me reduce this a little bit. we do a 15. So, boom to there. 20 is a bit too much. 17, no, 18. Oh, no, we can go 19. It's definitely 19. It's just a little bit too much on the other side. That's, is that a bit too close to my one? It? I just don't think I'm ever going to be happy when it comes to building. So how does a brick wall look? It actually looks quite nice. I think I might go for this. I think I might go for this. So let's um, try and sort this out as best as we can. 
I wish we could just like drag and drop. Is that a thing? <gasps> curved sections? Excuse me. How long has that been in the game? A curved section. Because I don't remember that being in there. Or have I just completely made, like, not even been paying attention? Maybe that's what I've been doing. So if I... Oh, that's good. Right, anyway. Let me go straight. Because i got to go this way first. Right, if I go to there. And then go curved. Oh, boys. Or is it because I'm using this type of fence? Is that how it works? Right, let me go pretty much straight at this point ish a little bit we go curved again oh this is gonna be so good so good right let's go oh no not that not that now I made this a little bit longer oh down by one there we go. And then go up like that. And then do you reckon I can get the curve on this this area? Or do you reckon that that is looking a little bit too much? Like, no, I feel like I need to go a little bit straight a little bit more. Before I can get that curve on, boy. Right, now if I go for the, the whole hog curve there. Oh my goodness me, Seniak. You need to calm down, boy, with these curves. I mean, some of them don't look amazing. But I tell you what. It's better than having them just, like, angled to how I had it before. So I am not complaining that much. Right, would that go... Oh, no, okay, it doesn't quite go all the way. But it does there. Okay, so this is my next enclosure, which will move the ostriches over to. I'm not sure how easy that is going to be, um, but let me now um, let me now sort out where I want the glass windows. So I'm thinking we'll do a nice little section up to there. Will it allow me to go glass? Oh, even the glass curves, boys, boys, b -b -b boys. Right, and go up to here. Nice glass curve. And then we'll do the same on this side. To about there. Glass curves. So I'm keeping some areas kind of locked away still. That they can't view it in. Uh, as you can give like the animals a little bit of privacy. That's where you put the trees down and like the big bushes. So they can't see them. It doesn't ruin the view, but it's in the habitat for the animal. Not too shabby. Not too shabby if you ask me. Um, right, okay. This is actually kind of hyped. I'm kind of excited about this, guys. I am low-key kind of um, excited about how this is now potentially going to turn out to be. Hold on, I've just moved my keyboard, and now I feel uncomfortable. Okay, there we go, guys. We're back in business. We're back in business. So we need to move stuff over there. Oh, actually, before we do, I need to um, habitat. Not habitat, barriers. I need to get that little, little gate on, don't I? Yeah. All right. Where's the best for place for it then? This side. Just like that. Simple, mate. Easy, clean, effective. <laughs> right. With that in them, I gotta move them. So, how easy is it to move them? Can I just like put them? Is that how? Hang on. Let me just select all this. Is it that easy to do it like that? If I. Oh, box all animals. Is it, do I just, like that? Right, box all animals, then do I just select... Like, I mean, I don't know if that's the way to do it. But I, I'm just, I'm just assuming this feels like the easiest way for me to do it. Move over there. So, so let me pause again. Pause again. So, now, with that said and done, with that now said and done... We, uh, if I select this, does it know that it has ostriches in yet? Or should we fast forward? Let's fo fast forward until we actually have an ostrich in, then it will probably understand and know what type of animal it has in here. 
Haha, there we go. So now it does. So we've got an oxygen here. And we need to sort stuff out then. So habitat. We need to make sure it is the ostrich. Is it the common ostrich? Yes, it is. Now, we don't really have much information about this, really, do we? So why don't we go to vet research? Ooh, something new for the hippo. We've actually done everything for the hippo, which is kind of cool. All right, common ostrich there. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? Staff. I'm going to... Uh, how many mechanics have we got? We've got four. But why don't we get a couple more vets? So place them over here. One, two, three. So I, that means I've got four in total. Four in total. So I can have them all researching multiple things. So next I'm going to be removing... Well, not moving. Uh, moving, sorry. Removing. Moving. The common warthogs, so get something researching for those. Going to be upgrading the grizzly bears, so a larger enclosure. We don't really know much about the timber wolves, so let's throw that on there as well. And um, let's kind of see how that goes. Now, I do know I have one animal in storage, this one. So send to zoo in there. And now then, I should have, eventually when it's done every ostrich in here which i got five in total glorious now i am at risk i am at risk of literally having protesters if i don't have them already because i'm not really paying attention to the timber wolves they're in a very very terrible spot so how long is it going to be until i can get that research done for the common ostriches because it will be kind of nice to get like uh, if i can get some research for them um where is the common ostrich? Ah, it, oh, okay. It's actually shooting shooting straight up. Is that going to be done? Yes, mate. Right, what habitat stuff do we have for it? Okay, nothing really new. Is it going to shoot up like the last one shot up? Or no? Because that was kind of crazy, wasn't it? Um, Right. Let's pause for a second. So, and let's go terrain. So we need to, we do need to sort the terrain out. They've got a long, it's the actual ostrich you need to click on, isn't it? Yeah. It's like I literally played this game a few days ago and I've completely forgotten how to play it. <laughs> so terrain them, they want short grass more than anything. So we up all this. Pile in a load of short grass just to kind of fill it all up to get rid of the long grass We'll get in some delicious light soil And I'm gonna use my brush size as well I like to do like a nice little run around as if they've been running around the whole edge of the enclosure and at least that's going to make them happy there. And actually, do you know what? That does sort out the terrain pretty well. Now, this enclosure is nice and large. So you would think, with it being so large, we can then, you know, breed a lot more ostriches that we can release into the wild, which would be kind of handy. Now, we don't have any welfare stuff for them at the moment. So why don't we just kind of place down some of the basic stuff, um, which will kind of satisfy their needs in a way. There we go. Drop one there. Just slightly satisfy their needs. So protesters can't go crazy at me. I'll place little feeders in the corners by the windows. There we go. A couple of balls I'm going to drop in. A nice little sprinkler just because. Oh, we need food trays. Large food bowls. Again, put those where they're going to view them. And some scent en enrichments. Place one over there, one over there. Now, they don't have any bedding or anything like that. They don't have any of that just yet, but it kind of sorts out their enclosure until I've researched more stuff for them. And we'll check it all out and complete it. Now... We're gonna have to put some donation boxes around here real quick because I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I need the money. 
I need as much money as possible. So if I drop one there, there. <gasps> Diseased animal? Oh, this is not good, guys. We've got a lot of stuff going on right now, and I'm kind of low-key worried. Right, let's get out of this. I think a lot of stuff's happening. I'm not really paying attention, so I need to kind of get on top of it. So, who is the diseased animal? All right, it's it's the grizzly bears, isn't it? They're, they're just not loving life. They're just not loving life, if you know what I mean. Um, now this is my next issue. <gasps> Winters died. No, died from injuries, guys. I'm gonna call the vet. No. What I was literally about to say there is, I'm thinking I might box the timber walls back up. Move the warthogs into this enclosure instead. Now, this is land area 2004. This is a little bit more, but that's because this one has water in. You know what I mean? So, I'm thinking, you, to send to this trade center. You, send to the trade center. I can't believe what's happened. Right, how do I... Um... Empty everything inside of it. Is there, a, is there a quick and easy way to kind of edit stuff? Multiple selection. Yeah. And delete. There we go. That, that's so much more easier. I like how it doesn't select the barriers either. Guys, I can't believe what we've done. What is this, by the way? What is that? That is dirt mounds. I don't even know what that is. Whew. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Right. Terrain. Get rid of the water. We're going to flatten the foundation. Let me go for a bigger brush size. Right. I'm going to move the warthogs into this one. So how what is this one now in terms of like square footage? Look at that. It is compared to this one again. Okay, so we're almost 700 more square meters from the other one. So this is a lot more space for the warthogs. Oh my god. Right. Let me get all this up and running. This sorted, all switched over, and we can sort these grizzly bears out, man, because it's all going So the down. ostriches are now in, like it like I did before. The warthogs are now in. We have danger about a warthog about to now inbreed, which is not good. I haven't got the shelter in for them just yet, which is something I probably need to do. Now, what's looking like a good one? This is like a nice big large one. I could squeeze him. So if I just drop that kind of Hang on, this is an 8 eight by 8 by 2 Yeah, we'll go with this one. If I drop it just there, get the extra large bedding, get right in there so I can see it. There we go. So, that, is that class as a hard shelter for them? Um, Is it? Yeah, it is. Right, sweet. So that'll make them happy for now. Haven't got any of the plants or trees in just yet, but I don't want to worry about that too much. I've kind of got rid of this whole, <laughs> these two enclosures here. So I can just now kind of just, right, I've paused it. Edit the barrier. I'm going to delete these barriers. All right, let's go right back to here. I've gone right back to there, guys. Right back. Select this, and we go in, we go in windows. And I'm putting some big boy curves on them. We get a just right. This is going to be an amazing, an amazing um, enclosure right now. Right, if I go to there with that, it's going to be amazing because it's going to give the bears so much more freedom. And quite possibly allow me to place in a few more bears. So that's going to be also pretty cool. Right, I've got down by... Oh, it needs to be nine. Uh, excuse me, nine. Right, if I do a nice little turn there. Bam. 
And then this is where I'm now going all this corrugated stuff. Because this is the back of it where you don't really see. So I'm not really too fussed. Right, actually, let me delete that one again one more. And if I go by 10 there, and then we're going straight now 20s across. Because it don't even matter at that point, does it? Because you can't see it. Right, and it's a little bit too far for that. So if I bring it down and get it to snap. Now, the entry point is over there. But if I do another one... Right, can I not do... Can I only have one in? Is that how it works? Why won't you let me... Select. There we go. So it's a little bit closer. I need to get rid of that path. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that gives us a lot more space to work. That's quite a big open area, isn't it? If, 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 if I'm honest with you. But that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So that is now classed as, as one enclosure. The barrier stage is not great. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, I have one animal in there. Wait, I have one animal in there? Did I see like a... Like a... Liam, there you are, boy. Wait, when did my other animal die? I mean, no, he hasn't escaped. He's still there. I think they saw the chaos and confusion. With what's go? Oh, he's in a crate. Um, okay. Unbox. And now do we have two? Yeah, we now have two grizzly bears. So what's the alerts then? Um. I don't really get it. Is it because they're both males? Maybe. It's a huge enclosure. Huge. Um, but they should love this now. Let me select one of them. Where is one? Oh, this one's... Hang on, unbox. Yes, mate. Right, okay. So, terrain. Got plenty of space to play around with. Uh, and it needs to kind of... Because this is all painted for the previous... Exhibits in there, so... What can we give it more of? Rock. So make it a little bit more rocky, just to get rid of the grass. I'm going to rock off this whole area. Uh, can do with more... We can give it some more soil. Let me bring that down a bit more. Oh no, that's the intensity. I meant to bring this down. As we go around all the edges here. Put that intensity back up, boy. There we go, and we'll get a bit of short grass patches just to break up slightly the uh, the rock. And that's pretty much all good there for the terrain. I've got to add in more trees and stuff to make it look as good on and that side it is on this side. But it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty swaggy, boys. So let me just check out the, uh, there we go, the researching that we've now just done. So we've done researching for all of these. Nice. Keep on the research, guys. Killing the game. Killing the game right now. Um, okay, so environment. Needs more coverage and plants. Understandable. With how uh, small this is looking. But let me just sort out now the grizzly bears. So species, grizzly, grizzly, grizzly bears. Oh, we've got so much stuff for them now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um... Uh, Right, so I think we'll put the attraction stuff near the windows. So people can see them do stuff like this. Uh, a couple of food trays there and there. Let's get rid of that. Um, a tree forage? What's that all about? 
I'll get the water thing down as well. There we go. So I want stuff by windows that they're gonna kind of uh, engage with, which is for the uh, the people to see and watch them. I'm gonna get. I mean, we've got these shelters now as well. Let's go for this big boy here. And let's just slightly rotate it just there. And the extra large bedding. All right, let's get a load of this down. So they've got pretty much two shelters in, a small and large one, so they can play around with it, which is pretty good. Now, do I do all the nature stuff? I forget which terrains they like. Temperate tundra. Plants. Okay, right. Let's do... Temperate first. I've got to find the, the good trees. What tree is this? It is the black spruce. Because they love that one. I'm going to start being can I? Black spruce. Easy enough to do. Oh, no, this is not black spruce. Oh, it's because it's untemperate. There we go. Aha. So, again, biggest mistake I made last time. Placing the trees way too close to the edges. So, try and keep it slightly away. And we do have the option to do some slightly smaller ones. But, again, making sure it's not too close to the edge of the uh, enclosures because that's when they they like to go walkabouts that the bears do don't they they, they like to go on a little walkabouts I mean they like it we kind of don't so a couple of trees in there can't see anything right now so let's fast forward and um, we just need some oh I'm gonna love heart of that just need some rocks in there Animals are fighting due to... Oh my god, there is so much going on. Will I ever fix it? I will. I, w I will. Don't worry. Uh, oh, there's some different star rocks down here as well. I'm kind of just glancing through real quick. Do you reckon... Oh, I've done... Yeah, do you reckon the style of rock... Where is the bears? Um, um, pause. Guys, we have a freaking broken front, uh, fence. Where, where is my mechanics? Okay, just research something new. Okay, JJ, JJ, JJ. Where's my mechanics? Right, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Oh no, but yeah, right, one there, one's over here. Is the mechanic going? Oh, I'm just watching this broken fence here. Oh no, it's been repaired. Is this? Is there a dude there? I don't even know if there's a dude there or not. Damn, this game scares me. This game, Loki, scares me. Right, terrain, environment. We need more coverage on the plants. Right. <laughs> what we, what other stuff have we got here? We've got bracken. There we go. Nature. Bracken. Is it pla oh. Is that how you spell it? I don't know how you spell it. Yeah, I was misspelling it, wasn't I? But we need more coverage on this stuff. That's a bramble bush. Hold on. Where's me bracken? Oh, it's this stuff here. Gotcha.
That's why we put all around the uh, the rocks, which is quite cool. Got some smaller variations of it. Something's happened to a bear because it's now been boxed up and taken away. Not entirely sure what's happened. There's a bear. There we go. So, habitat. The animal is too hot. Okay, we'll sort out in a second. Coverage is looking pretty swiggly swag. We kind of got it all rocking and rolling. We've got that minimum percent there. Nothing in there that they don't like, which is good. Habitat real quick right now. Food and water. It's too hot, so we need some coolers. So let's drop a cooler there. And a cooler there. So can slightly cool them down. Enrichment items. Ah, oh, this is good. The ice blocks. How much have I got? 9 Gs. We've got the bamboo feeders as well. We've got the block of ice. Again, cools these. I mean, the bears have got so much stuff. If they're miserable and they don't like where they are right now, then phew, I'm going to be angry. Tree food scatterer as well. Oh, they've got so much stuff. I would love to be a bear in this zoo right now. They've got so much stuff going on. Uh, do I create a climbable little platform just there to see if they can get on top of it? I don't quite know if they will or not, but we'll see. Right, it is slightly now snowing, which is nice. Nice. Where's it? Is that a bear there? So we meet all the needs for the bears. We meet all the needs. They don't really enjoy the fire hose. Oh, it's because it becomes a novelty to them. That's actually quite interesting. I didn't know that was kind of a thing. That is kind of interesting. Well, it is now snowing. So I assume some animals are going to want heaters. Habitat. Yeah, they're cold. <laughs> well, let me sort this out then. So... Heaters. Heat is the same for every animal. It really is the same for every animal. So, is that sorted out? Yeah, they only need plants and stuff, which is understandable. Uh, they're all good. Are the hippos good? I haven't heard from the hippos in a while. They're all good. Right, it's just that I'm now going to get the wolves back in. Holy moly, we've been doing some expansions today. Right, let me just sort out now. Can we pause it? Let me just sort out while it's daytime the trees and stuff for the warthogs and the ostriches. We'll get the wolves back in. And I think that's the kind of style and size that we're going to be going with, with the enclosures. Yeah. I feel like we're now getting somewhere. Hopefully they're enjoying um, the animals. Do you reckon animal trading... In a market, if I go and search species, a grizzly, the grizzly bear. Uh, oh, we've got one here. Have I got enough for him? Oh, her, sorry. Right, I'm adopting. Send to zoo. Drop her straight in. So we've got a female grizzly bear surrounded by two male bears. Which one? One is not feeling too good. Hey, do we need to call the vet for you? You're injured. So we got a female in there, so hopefully we can get some baby bears on the go. So hopefully we can get some baby bears on the go. So we've sorted out now the ostriches, and we've sorted out the warthogs. We've given them... Oh, hold on, there's a box here. I think a vet must have bought this one back. Um, Unbox, are you okay? You don't look too good. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, so we've kind of got it all back up and running. I've extended the path a little bit a little bit further as well. I'm going to do something with this area. I've had to get rid of a bunch of these burrowing cockroaches. I say get rid. There's eight in here at the moment. And I think i got a couple in my storage. Hold on. Um, no, exhibit trading. Storage, yeah. Because there was too many in there at one time. So I've, I took a bunch out and I'm not too sure what to do with them. I can give this quick send them or release them into the wild. Um, I'm going to release them into the wild. Release. 
We don't really get really one point from it. But I suppose, you know, it's something, right? It, may, it might increase my rating or, or, or whatnot. I don't know. But there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I had to as well um, get rid of the the one grizzly bear. Now, I believe we have we have three in here. Am I right? Or do we have three in total? Animals. Oh my god! We have more! Um Right, this is this is this is wow, they've been busy. <laughs> well, I say yeah, we have one more that they gave birth. We've got one Wakefield who's currently in the trade center. We have your boy Liam over here and Benjamin, which Benjamin is the little baby. Liam. If I uh, I can't even send you to storage. Which is a shame. Uh, but I can't really do much at the moment. We've got one who's does not feeling too good. But I'll sort those out in just a second. Because I need to try and make some more money. Because I'm floating between losing money like I am right now and making some money. So I need to have something uh, that's going to give me cha-chings. Easy and quick cha-chings. Now, I think my loan's paid off. Yeah, it's all gone. So we're going to get another one. I'm going to get this 20 grand loan. Might seem a little bit excessive. But I'm going to quickly pause. We have our... Over here right now. Currently closed, <laughs> my ad. Uh, vendors. We're going to add some more in. And I'm going to create a little staff room at the back as well. So I don't have to walk all the way over here to the staff room. So I'm going to try and set something up. Now I'm going to move this one more time. Just to here. So I can extend the path and connect it gloriously. Oh, that's barriers. Um, path. And we're going to go with a little staff path right now. And if I start it just there. And we stick it out by two's enough. Oh, undo. And do the same on this side. Stick it out by two. There we go. So we can kind of play around with this little area in a way. So first things first. Let's get out of this build mode here. Let's go to our facilities. And go to, let's see, let's see, let's see, staff facilities, not staff, we want guest facilities, where's the buildings, is this the building here, the lot, yeah, I want this, because this was pretty damn good, I want it added in, again, so if I add that there, now we've got over here, if I can remember correctly, we got the gulpy and the chef beef, <laughs> so, we're going to go with then, and I don't really, oh, Chef Beef is just there, the gulp is just there. We're going to go with the Looney Bloons, and make sure it's facing the right way first, there we go. So, Looney Bloons, so, it's, so we can then sell some balloons to guests and whatnot. <laughs> that's, that's an amazing, amazing sound effect for it. Do I, ha I don't think I have guest toilets in, do I? I don't. But we're going to get another information center uh, right in there. Now, when it comes to the toilets, I can do a large toilet block. I can do a small. Apparently, they're classing this as the small. Okay. And this is the large. Now, this has a male and female entrance on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Now, where would I place this? So I could place this relatively like here, maybe. Let me rotate it just right. Because I can place some trees and stuff around it. And we can also integrate the enclosure, whatever place there, to go around it too. So it's not too much trouble for us. Uh, and then staff facilities, I do want the staff room. So where is the staff room right now? So we, spe we will pay a little bit more money to get like a little, little building around it. And workshop, trade, staff room here. So we pay a little bit more money just to get this set up on it. Which, it's okay. I don't mind that. And I think I'll place it over here. So a nice little staff room I can kind of quickly squeeze in and throw in just there. And would it be too much to add in a second one? Or do you think I'm spending too much of my monies at this point? If 
if I added it in just there. So two little staff rooms thrown in. Let me see if I can slightly move this one. Now, you know, we'll keep it like that. I'm not going to push it too much. We can, like, grab some stuff around it. So there's two staff rooms close by, so all the staff members can take a break simultaneously if they wanted to. But it also gives some more break areas away from this zone, which is also a good thing. So that gives me um, 6,000 left to play around with for just a moment. So we're back into play mode for a second. So they'll jump in right now. And that will be open business as usual, which is pretty good. So what issues have we currently got then? So uh, guessing the ticket price is currently low. Okay. Right, we'll make that $5 and see how they like that. We'll see what happens. Uh, we can view our inspection report as well. Education is low. Oh, that's because we got to add, add, um, add in a bunch of education stuff. Yes, I know, I know, I know. So, ostrich overcrowding, warthog overcrowding. Let's start with the ostrich one first. We've got 13 ostriches. Oh, no wonder it's overcrowding. Um, okay, right. Let's let's sort this out. So, Mrs. Sediak and Mr. Sediak, still here to the day we die, but Mrs. Sediak is not, has, has seen better days. Where is she? Is this her here? Uh, yeah. Um, can we call the vet? I don't think she's feeling too good. Um, right, we can release into the wild you. And where's the others? Who are you? We'll release you into the wild. Get some nice little points back for that. Who are you running so quick? We're going to release you into the wild as well. Do, do, do. Damn, these ostriches are quick. And release you into the wild as well. So, what are we down to now then? We're still we're down to nine. Down to nine. We've seen better days with the ostriches. We've seen better days. Alright, so we have a nice little mixture. And hopefully that will kind of solve things slightly there. We'll see how that goes. But now, what are my other issues? Low on cash. Guess still think the ticket price is too low. Um, I mean, should I just make it straight six? I don't know if we have to give it time to kind of update itself or whatnot. I don't know. But hey-ho. So again, we're losing money fast. But I'm, I'm now hoping our new stores here will... I haven't got to open that, have I? No, it's already open. Oh, can, oh we can add a ticket pr a price to this. Are right, we going to charge... We'll do simultaneous prices. We're going to charge 20 cents for them to use it. The toilets... One, because I'm money hungry, and two, it, it will bring a little bit of pennies in for us. It will bring some pennies in for us. Yeah. So what are the prices like for these, then? So, is this the information one? No. There we go. Prices. We've got many, many different prices here right now. I don't feel like I want to mess around with them. They're two stores right now. That are going to generate us some money in the long run. So we'll just keep that ticking over. Keep that ticking over, boys. But I do feel like... Um, right, let's see. Overcrowded is now... Oh, the Warthogs. They have four, 13 in there? Also, it used to have Timberwolves in there. I'm not quite sure how you're going to get rid of your animal management. This is a better view, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Exhibits. Is this the one I'm looking at? No. Habitats. That's the one I want. So which is the one that's got the... It's this one here. So how do I view the animals and better animals? Um, species. Habitat animals. Common warthogs. This is a better view. So we can see the age of them, and then we can also sort them out. So give concept... Oh, you can give them concept so they stop getting pregnant. That's kind of hilarious. Right, release to the wild, then. Oh, wait, does that view now just disappear? Do we, do we not get to look at it again? I don't even know how I had that up. i got grizzly bears there I've got to sort out as well. Um, How do... View animal management. Animals. Oh, it's in my zoo section. 
Gotcha. Right, it's kind of annoying now, this is. Right, let me go to maturity and go for the oldest. We have a hippo that's 40 years old. Holy moly. Right, common warthog. Oh, that's okay. Send to the trade center. Okay, one or more, a few more animals can't be put for trade. Got you, got you, got you. Um, species. So we'll take you and you. Release to the wild. Yes. So we still got seven in there, which apparently is still way too many. Oh, no, no, no. This, the, the little alert thing here is for the, these werewolves. How do I get them out of here? Is it I have to give them their very own place, area, set up, if that makes sense? Maybe. Why don't we add one, one in, like, real quick right now? So, barriers. Let's sort this out. So, if I pick here... And we go BAM! <laughs> Bring it right down. BAM! Oh, I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna keep that quite that little area open. And we should add the bends up. No, 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 I shouldn't. Not just there. Now nah, we'll keep it quite open. And bring that straight up. Right, this is where we can maybe have a little bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, there we go. As good as we're going to get it. I can't really see it, so I'm going to have to change the angle. And then go full beans ahead again. Right, there we go. So that kind of adds that in. We'll add our little door just there, which is n not really going to work. It would work if I placed it here, I suppose. But why isn't like the idea of going on a staff road? Is that because it's kind of the way it's kind of set up? Probably is, but I'm going to throw it there. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now, let's sort out where we would want... Are these climbable, by the way? Not climbable. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's a good idea. All right, we'll pick here. Nice. Let me pick it going all the way around. There to be the glass. Now, I don't know how high we also need to make this. Because of what they are. But if I bring it up to... Oh, oh, insufficient funds. Oh, I'm poor again, boys. I'm poor. <laughs> but I might have to uh, bring the sizes up a little bit. But with that said... Animals, let's get these in because I don't want them to die in storage. I want them to have some type of life. Uh, so, return to habitat. I can't really do much of that warthog there. Um, Rehome. There we go. So, animal training... Oh no, I got protesters. What have I got what have I got protesters for? Can I spot them? I don't quite know what I got protesters for and who's protesting. Low key don't even know. They still think it's underpriced, the ticket price. I'll take that. Oh, 
I'll take that. Um, right. I mean, I know we spotted a protester. But how do you find them? Hmm. It's an interesting one, isn't it? Anyway, we got the wolves in. Um, I need to try and get some money coming in so I can put some donation booths. Now, that costs $50 a pop. So as soon as I get that 50 holla holla dollar, which, there we go, we managed to get one in there. And I'll drop one here as well. Won't we'll go crazy on those. Um, so we're going to get protesters for this anyway. So slow things down. So what's kind of eating my money up the most? The common warthogs are going to go mental again. Animal food is a big one. That really is. That's a huge one. Staff, oh no, staff wage is the biggest one probably. Um, so maybe let's keep an eye on that. Might have to. F What's making that noise? These animals. Oh, there's the protesters. Right, we'll see where they're going to go to anyway. Uh, but anyway, I've got too many animals in this one exhibit. So, species. Now, let me get to age again, because age is a good one. I can get rid of the older ones. All right. You and you release to the wild. So where's the protesters gone now? Protest... Oh, the protesting about the wolves. I Yes. Right, okay. So I got a tiny bit of money for a second. All right, understandable that they're protesting about the wolves, because I don't have anything for the wolves in here yet. But Hubbard Hart... They're called timber wolves. Let me go species. Let me find timber, 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 timber wolves. And let's first drop in their shelter then. There we go. Right, I'll put it into play mode now as we start to add stuff in. So hopefully we start to kind of sort stuff out. They have nothing for food or anything like that. Let's fast forward. So food and water. Um, $300 would be nice. Once it comes in. Any minute now. There we go. So water is added in. <laughs> Large food trait, $500? Holy smokes. But I'm going to place one here anyway. Once I get that 500 big boys coming in. This kind of needs to hurry up. Guys, can you give me some donations, please? Can you bring some donations my way? Man, I'm, I'm watching the money. And it's not going well. I'm taking it over loan. Just so I can sort out the freaking timber wolves. So the food thing's down when they need it. Get some feeders down, a block of ice, cardboard box, the prey thing, the ball, the sprinkler. Right, that adds that in, and it would slowly change the welfare. Last drink cleanliness. Well, I've got, I've got to wait for them to have a drink and stuff, don't I? And wait for someone to come in. Large water bowl. 
<laughs> I mean, that money I just got is, is now literally all gone. Right, they're having a drink. There we go. That changes that. Board. Oh my god. They've got illnesses. Right. Zoo. Vet research. We should now have got some stuff for the timber wolf. Nice. But can they research some of this illnesses? Board. Oh, an active disease. Okay, let's research to sort that out. And should I. I mean, let's do some research for the boring cockroaches, but also maybe do some swine fever. <laughs> I don't know why, but let's just give it a go. Give it a go. Is that now? Have you that now quarantined both our animals? Yeah. Oh, I could have just set up this whole enclosure for nothing. But at least the protesters can't protest no more. They've got nothing to protest about. I don't have the animals they were worried about. So get out of here. I don't want to see you no more. Right. We've done the research for... Oh, the boring cockroaches. Nice. Right. Can I do anything to this enclosure to improve... Oh, my God. I'm losing so much money. I'm losing so much money. Social group is too large. How many are in here again? Where's the animals? I got 15. They need to start breeding. I got too many females as well. Um, right. Send to the trade thing. Um, I need, actually I need to go to, to the management, don't I? No, no, that's the wrong one. View exhibit. No, request. No. How do I view all the animals again? <laughs> right, female. Trade center. Female. Trade center. Female. I should really go into the, the animal thing and do it. I'm being lazy, but somehow I've got more I, I got more energy to do this. These females need to come I mean, in. These females some contraceptive pills because they're on a mad one. Right. There's four of now each, male and female. Please calm down. Please calm down. Uh, the wolves are not back yet. They're being treated. I am in serious debt. Beautiful. Beautiful. So let's try and now zoo. Slow this down a second. Animals. No. Exhibit trading. In storage. I'm now instantly going to quick trade them. Get $700 back. Confirm. Completed the sale there, boy. Can't do... Got any rewards now? Can't do anything with this bear. It's also coming to the end of his life. So he might die in storage. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it, man? That's bad. Um... How many? I got too many warthogs in here, so let's sort this out. I've got ten, but apparently I've got. Oh no, because it's class under two. Wait, what is it classing? I don't know. But let me get rid of a female. Where is she? We are going to. Point in storage. A male. Put in storage. A male. Put in storage. If we can find a female. That's two of each. Storage. Right. Okay. Now the same. Are oh, the wolves back? The wolf is back. Same thing happening now. So, send to zoo. Okay, I can quick trade these. But I can't this one. Because I think that was one of my original ones. So I'll pull it back anyway. Let it live its life. Let it live its life, boy. And staff wages is a huge expense. So staff wise... I'm going to get rid of two caretakers. I'm going to get rid 
I've got too many mechanics. Um, I'm going to get rid of one of the vets. That should reduce my wages, which will be nice. And I'm hoping, hopefully, then we can. Oh, a Timberwolf is a big, is a big bow to mate. You already did the funky, funky already. Damn. They're on a roll. I'm hoping the protesters don't come back in. I start having to go at me. I need to leave me alone. But my money's now dropping, as if I'm making a profit. Total profit so far: one thousand four hundred. Yeah, boy. Okay, three hundred dollars now. But it's going no. Okay, it's going down. I would say it's it's semi going somewhat in the right direction. So oh no, okay. Now I'm making debt. So we're trying to get income for donations, uh, which is where the largest amount of our money is coming in. We're also spending money on these loans, which that one's now done. I could take out a $50,000 loan here and use that money to solely build up the attractions. I can't, this only got one year remaining, which we're repaying. How much do we repay on the loan? I mean, if, we weren't, if I didn't make that re loan repayment, I'll be in profit. Well, I'm in profit now, but I'll be in like profit, profit. So that's that loan's not good. That loan, it's not good. Not good indeed. <laughs> right, they still whinge at the, the the ticket price is too low. Do you know what? Ten. Ten dollars. Then you tell me. That ticket price is too low. Right, more ushers are hungry. Did they get their food? Have you not got your food yet? Do you know? I bet you what. You know what I reckon what it is. The zookeepers aren't getting round in time. That's what I reckon it is. But we, we are making some money. So, do you know what? I'm going to take this 50G loan. Pay off that loan. Done. So, it gives me 39,000. Right. Just give me a second because it will all make sense. Pause. Uh, I said pause. Right. Then. Not habitat. Facilities. Uh, is it facilities I want? I can't remember. Guest. Small no 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 small animal exhibits. Right. All right hold on. Select grid. Right. Select grid. How do I select the grid? Also, why is this not going the way I want it to? And why is it doing it like that? This scares me, guys. This game scares me. Um, I mean, I could squeeze it in like that, to be honest. One right there. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Um, right. Got the grid there. If I dropped in one there. And there. But it's... I've got to sort this path out. This is the killer. Right, really like sort it out. Right, 
It's not going to like what I want to do. It really isn't. Hold on. I would. <laughs> right, I'm trying to like create something here. I'm getting there. But this is not wide enough. Right, hold on. There. There. Right, after 20 gazillion years trying to figure that out, I've done it. i finally done it. I fill in the gaps of like plants and trees when I eventually get to that point. We got a couple new exhibits. So facilities, donation boxes is always a good idea. There, there, and then be a little bit cheeky and throw one in just there. Now, next episode, I think we should start looking at the educational stuff and that's really, <coughs> we'll drive up some of the donations and stuff like that. But let's see what I can get in here. So. Request exhibit animal. I should really, um, I mean, if I press play now, let it continue. But exhibit trading. Snakes, damn, son. All right, age. Who's the youngest? The beetle, the Goliath beetle. Right, adopt you. Adopt you a male and female. We'll take off you off our hands. Uh, I'm going to take this iguana as well. Adopt you. And the yellow anaconda. I'll take you as well. Right, so the Goliath Beetle Center Zoo is going to go in here. The other Goliath Beetle in there. The Yellow Anaconda in there. And the Iguana over here. So that's now a big bulky new animals. We're going to get the temperature just right. So if I go to 25 there. Is that going to be enough? All right, 28 looks like to be the right number. The humidity is is correct. Not set. There we go. Okay, now it's set. Same for this one again. So I'll go 23 there. I've got to reduce the humidity as well. Oh, no, no, I've got to increase the humidity, sorry. A little bit. Looks like 25 to me. Nope. 26. I'll go 27 just to be on a safe side. Increase that humidity. A little bit more. 90% humidity. Damn! Okay. And then you, boy. You're alright with the uh, humidity right there, right now. Looks like a 25 to me. 27, 20, oh, no, 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 okay, bring it, 30, it's just about right, okay, so you get all the temperatures right there, it gives us more animals to work with, have they got the new animals in? Animals, oh my god, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of dope, man, I'm liking that, new exhibits in? So it is slowly coming together, guys. It is now slowly, 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 slowly coming together. They still think the tickets are underpriced. Which I suppose can only really be a good thing. 
because they're willing for me to they're willing to let me charge them more money basically now layouts i've done the layouts for this haven't i so i can add all that in because i've got new stuff researched and that's kind of what i gotta do with the other animals now so we've researched some of those disease stuff but I'm gonna throw this now on the anaconda uh on the goliath beetle we got the burying cockroach being researched and the iguana. Right, we've done the burying cockroach. Who's on this one? It's you. You jump on the iguana. There we go. Try and get some habitat stuff, exhibit stuff, should I say, uh, set up on this. This is actually becoming quite a hustle and bustling area, isn't it? Now, benches. Did I get many benches in? I, to be honest, I don't think I've got any benches in, to be honest. So if I place a bench there, there, here, and here. Now, what are they protesting for now? Protesting about this animal? What's wrong with this animal? Starving. Right, why are none of our keepers or anything like that feeding them? Right, let me check my thingy here. Right, the animals are hungry. Uh, maintenance. Vet keeper every month. Right, food and water. for the ostriches right now uh, common ostrich right don't have that there's, that there's so many freaking ostriches, ostriches in there that they just don't get fed right staff And my borderline have to hire in some more keepers. Do you reckon I'm going to have to do that? Some, I'm waiting for a keeper to come in. I don't think we're going to see one, to be honest. Right, keeper. Right, okay, I've hired two more keepers, but I've just noticed one walk in right now. Are they going to uh, refeed the... The, the bowls for the ostriches? Are you not? Right, I've called a keeper to there to get that food underway. Alright, where's he walking to, this keeper? Is another one coming in? Not yet. Just clean up the poop. Why does no keeper want to give us some food? I don't get it. Still no food? Right, corner keeper to the habitat again. I'm not happy about this. Just come in again, the uh, the keeper. Still not seen any food. Hmm. Right, let me just claim this reward quickly. <laughs> All right, keep it. No, walk straight in and straight out. No food for you, ostriches. It could be the slow feeders I need a couple more of. It could be down to that. Uh, serious injuries. A vet has been called. Holy moly. Okay, the vet's on it. So, taking care of it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And it looks like I'm making money. Look at that. Things have now changed for us. We've got new uh, exhibits in. 
Now we're turning a profit slightly, so we can go back to focusing on the good stuff. And I've got to keep an eye on how many animals we've got in enclosures, because it does get a little bit too ridiculous. Got to put some information boards up, but now I feel like I've got a basic setup for us, where we can tick over quite nicely with the exhibits and the animals that we do have. We can now slowly start to make improvements. Now look at that. Today alone, well this year should I say, nearly four, there you go, 4,000 in profit. That's good. That's really good, man. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I'll low-key take that, boys. So, we'll get issues now. Um, blocked by the research thingamajig. High amounts of litter, which... I'm going to sort our cleaners out. Might have to hire a few more here and there. They're getting their food. I'm not sure if the ostriches are getting their food. I mean, the protesters are gone, which is a good sign. So we see how that rock and rolls, but it ain't looking too shabby, boys. It ain't looking too shabby. We to see how these change over time, what they kind of do for us. I mean, can I click on them and add in new stuff? No, I think we're going to check out what we've researched, haven't we? Boom. Right. I should have new stuff now, right? Layouts, yes. Let's add these to them. And this one as well. Increase their happiness as well. And it's going great. Right, guys. I think we're going to end it for here anyway. It's been a, a, a long episode, but we've got so much in. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.